Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how I take advantage of expressions in order to have more precise rotations or just numerical accuracy within my scene. And this is the kind of stuff I teach within my premium tutorials typically like in my 3D Time Machine Warrior tutorial that you can see on my sci-fi animator.com website. But say for instance I want to take this plane and just rotate it oh you know let's say one seventh of a circle. So if I take this 360 degrees divided by seven like this so then it's 51.428 degrees and I know I'm in degree mode because right over here if I press this button here you can see it's by default set to degrees alright so I could type in this number 51.428 make sure that I'm in medium point or active element like this and then if I go in, into the Z coordinate and type in 51.428 like that well it rotates it but I left off all those other digits of precision in there so that's not really what I want so what I typically do is I come in here and I use an expression within here directly and I would type it in like this I would type in 360 divided by 7 kinda of use this as your calculator and now I have a much more accurate representation in fact you can see it well it shows the rotation in radians because that's what the blender system uses by default and typically when I work in fact what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that I I will typically start this way and when I start my says I'll work in metrics in radians like that and so then if I want to do that then I have to type in my equation like this I'd have to do two times pi for the angle all the way around a circle and then divide that by seven okay and so then when I do that it tells me that the value is 0 0.898 all right and let's verify that over here let's type in let's get pi well let's clear that we'll get pi times 2 equals divided by 7 equals and that's 0.897598 is what they show here and let me see 2 times pi the precision it's off from compared to what the blender uses no there, there it is see 8975979 and here it is notice it says 0.898 what you see but if you hover your mouse over it it's 0.897598 like this so since I did it as an expression in here I get the accurate reading versus if I had just if I control Z this and put that back and if I type it in as you know if I see this expression I go 0.898 like this maybe as for precision 0.898 like that it still shows as 0.898 but if you hover over it then you can see the precision is just 0.898 right so the best habit to be into at least I think if you really want to be accurate when you're modeling and everything is to make sure that you enter in your expressions in here for your rotations and for anything just put your mathematical expression in instead of the exact number other so you don't lose all this precision in your calculator alright so that's really uh, an important step in a lot of the work and that's the kind of stuff that you'll see in my premium tutorials typically because most of my premium tutorials aren't meant for most artists they're just they're more for technical artists if you want to know about math and physics and programming and basic engineering and things like that and um, yeah okay well that's it alright that's it for now I'll see you in the next lesson